Using an automotive lift is a common task that trained automotive lift technicians perform numerous times every day. However, it's a critical task and should be done in a safe manner, employing the proper procedures. There are many hazards to be avoided to reduce the risk of damage to customer vehicles and injury or death to technicians. This video is an aid to point out some of the dangers involved and the proper procedures required to operate an automotive lift safely. There are right ways to lift a vehicle and wrong ways. Before you lift any vehicle, make sure that you are properly trained in the operation of automotive lifts. It has the potential to be dangerous work and training is a must. Always read the operator's manual provided by the manufacturer of the lift. It's important that the operator be familiar with the safety features, maintenance, inspection, and operation of each lift before use. Check that your lift has been safely inspected by a qualified lift serviceman within the past year. Most automotive lift service companies affix a decal to the lift that states when the next inspection is due. Besides the all-important annual inspection, perform the periodic inspection and maintenance as stated by the manufacturer yourself. Put your safety in your hands. For example, Make a daily examination of the cables and chains for wear and ensure the safety latches are engaging and disengaging fully. If you're using a twin post lift, check the operation of the arm restraints and make sure they disengage and engage fully. Once a month, torque anchors to manufacturer's specs. Check the hydraulic fluid. Check the torque of all fasteners. Check that the lift is equalized properly. On a twin post lift, the locks should click simultaneously. Check hoses for cracks or chafing and check the condition of the superstructure. <coughs> Only a trained operator who has performed the manufacturer's recommended maintenance and inspection on a lift that has been inspected by a lift service specialist is ready to lift a vehicle. First check that the vehicle you are about to lift does not exceed the maximum capacity of the lift. Look inside the vehicle. Check for unexpected loads. Never lift a vehicle that has a heavy load inside. Then check that the bay is clean and tidy. Clean up any oil spills, tools and debris. If you're using a twin post lift, make sure that the lift's arms are located in the home position. Have your spotter stand at the front, but to the side of the vehicle to avoid being hit in the event of an accident. Drive the vehicle into the lifting area. If you're working on a twin post lift, it's very important to know the vehicle manufacturer's recommended lifting points. They can be found in the shop manual for the vehicle or can be obtained by the Automotive Lift Institute. When using a twin post lift, the vehicle's center of gravity or its balancing point is a great consideration. Typically, the center of gravity on a front wheel drive car is located under the steering wheel. Yet, on a rear wheel drive vehicle, its center of gravity is located under the front seat. However, this is not the rule for vehicles with engines in the rear. The center of gravity is a great cause for concern in using a twin post lift and has to be spotted midway between the front and rear arms. On a four post hoist, it's important to chalk the front and back of at least one wheel. With the vehicle in position, you are now ready to lift. Activate the lift's ascend controls. The lift's controls are hold to run style or momentary, which means the action should stop when you let go of the button or valve. 
on a twin post hoist, raise the lift so that the pads are one inch from the vehicle's lifting points. Check the lifting points. If they're aligned, raise the lift until the vehicle is one foot from the ground. Recheck the lifting points. If they remain aligned, go to the rear of the vehicle and shake it moderately. Recheck the lifting points. If all is good, raise the lift to the desired working height. Never look away from a vehicle in motion. Always be aware and constantly survey the lifting vehicle. Listen for the locking latches. When you achieve your correct lift height, you must now lower the lift onto the safety latches. Then and only then can you proceed to work under a vehicle. If your work includes any heavy lifting, prying, pulling, or you're going to remove a large component, you must use four appropriately rated jack stands. Always raise the height of the stands to the vehicle and never lower the vehicle to the stands. Whether your job is finished or you need to do a job at a lower height, when lowering the lift, be sure to remove your stands, tools, transmission jacks, oil caddies, and clean up any oil spills. It's good practice to announce to your colleagues in the next bays that your lift is descending. Raise the lift slightly and disengage the lift's locks. It's important to walk the perimeter of the vehicle if your lift has a dual point lock release. Remember, don't walk under the vehicle with the safety latches disengaged. Lower the vehicle. Return arms to the home position and drive out of the bay knowing the job was safely done. Never lift a vehicle with a passenger inside. Never allow customers into your bay area. Never try to support a fallen vehicle. Clear the area and announce the danger to others. Never use a damaged lift. Never use less than four arms on a twin post lift to lift a vehicle. Never jury rig the momentary controls or locking latches. Never use homemade adapters. Blocks of wood or bricks are not lift accessories. Never repair a lift yourself. In fact, tag out a lift that you suspect has a problem and do not use it until it has been looked at by a qualified factory trained lift specialist. Remember, lifting a vehicle is a critical task and has the potential of danger. It should only be performed by a trained operator who uses care, consideration, and proper procedures associated with automotive lift safety. Be cautious and lift safe.